Good evening, everybody. My name is Joe, and I'm a weapon of mass instruction, and I hope this doesn't turn out too long. A um, little couple days ago, I was uh, doing some searching and hunting around, and somehow I wound up on the topic of the dollar bill <clears throat> and uh, how if you fold the dollar bill a specific way, it forms the word the greed states. Uh, so I'm going to show you that real quick and some of the other stuff I found there. Um, and it's look. It looks kind of interesting to me, but then I'm not exactly a Latin scholar, so if somebody uh, out there knows how to speak Latin or understands what the hell I'm looking at here, uh, go ahead and pipe up and let me know, because this is definitely looking pretty interesting, uh, but let's see what we got. So, this is what I did first. I took a dollar bill, and I folded it up, and it's hard for you to see that, isn't it? Crap. It's not focusing. There we go. Focus. So if you look on the bottom, of course the fold came up, but uh, there we go. It says the greed states. But also if you notice, there's specific words that are uh, left on the great seal there that are written. Anuit, uh, no, Novus Ordo. All right, so uh, I'm going to cover that in a second. And then I got curious. I said, okay, well, that's pretty cool, but uh, I wonder what happens if we, uh, if we fold up the Great Seal the other way. And so this is what I got there. All right, and it says, oh, focus, damn you, of the Unitat or Unitat Seal. And you got... Coptus Seclorum. And then uh, on the banner for the eagle. Okay, you got Unum. Already got that. And then over here you got E Pluribus. Alright. So what I did was I wrote down those uh, things that I found there. And starting with the first fold over where it says the greed states. Anuit means he pr he approves of the unum means one and I'm I tried to look for it but uh, I can't get any other meanings for unum but I'm guessing it possibly means single or unified but I'm not sure uh, novice is new ordo means order that immediately reminded me of that city in China ordos so I'm going to take another look at that and see what's up with that and then, of course, the greed states is what it says at the bottom. Here's some of the sim symbolism I noticed there. You can see three stars, a bundle of arrows, and the left wing of the eagle, or as um, as I believe it's Joko, yes, uh, likens it, it's the phoenix, simply because uh, the eagle actually has a round eye. Focus, focus, whereas the phoenix has... An angled eye so I don't know that's a possibility all right so the other way uh, we see cuptus or coitus undertaking so originally it would be anuit coitus he approves of the he approves of the undertaking you got e pluribus all right which means from many or from the many uh, seclorum uh, the ages or of the ages and of the unite unitat seal, I don't know. It could be possibly just a misspelling or another verb tense or uh, adjective tense in Latin. I have no idea. But the closest I got was unitas, which is united. Um, I don't know. But here, uh, with that half of the seal, you see ten stars, an olive branch the left eye of the eagle, and the right wing of the eagle. Um, now, just from the olive branch and the uh, bundle of arrows, I mean, he approves of the single or unified new order. Unified new order. Or global new order. Possibly. Who the fuck is he? That's the question. Who's he? 
I don't know. Maybe I got this out of order here, but uh, undertaking from the many of the ages. The many would be, what, the lower class, right? There's a lot of us and not so many of the upper class. But I don't know what the fuck that means other than that. But that's what I found all that together. Um, when I was talking about it with some of the guys at work, one of them mentioned how you've got this symbol inside of the letter E. There's that letter E right there. Focus. Thank you. So there's the letter E with the triple triangle. Stupid fucking camera. Focus! Ah! Alright, anyway, but you saw that for a second. Um, but that was inside of the E, and I'm not exactly sure where uh, where I've seen that before, other than The Legend of Zelda. Please don't give me that. <laughs> um, but I'd like some input on that as well, uh, to see... If anybody has any uh, ideas on where it comes from. Now, the guy who saw that, he said it was the symbol for the Trilateral Commission. Um, but if you look up the Trilateral Trilateral Commission on uh, Wikipedia, it gives you a symbol that looks like the re reverse of the Recycle symbol. So, I don't know. But the Recycle symbol looks pretty uh, Illuminati to me anyway. So that's what I found. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, it, it definitely does look interesting. He approves of the unified new order. <laughs> As opposed to how they like to tell us that, you know, what's it called? Freaking, there we go. Regular people like to tell us that Novus Ordo Seclorum. Okay, literally it translates to new order of the ages. But come on, the ages of the world, new world order. Anuit Coptus, he approves of the undertaking. And la di da di da. From the many, one. Uh, showing the left eye of the eagle or phoenix. Olive branch is what you see with the weird stuff that I found, the doesn't make sense stuff that I found. But the uh, bundle of arrows, meaning war, is what I found associated with huh, the unified new order. And that's pretty much what I got for you guys right now. Um, I'm going to keep on searching for stuff. I just kind of got off on a tangent there, and uh, I'm going to get back on track. Uh, I haven't heard anything much about the Bilderberg meeting, but then again, I haven't checked my... Uh, subscription box in a couple of hours so we'll see how that goes maybe it's not the end of the world as we know it Ooh, everybody thinks cross your fingers means good luck but i wonder what else it might mean worth looking into <laughs> all right peace everybody stay safe